And you attended NYU, right, I for did. school? I did. That's so great. Yeah. yeah. For, 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 for acting? Yes, or? I went to the theater department, um, but at the time I also started clubbing a lot, so, which I started doing when I was about 14. So ultimately... Hold, hold, hold. hold. How, how do you go to the clubs at 14? No, but club kids, you don't understand. That I was don't a whole understand. thing. That was well, a thing. Yes. Yes. I, you know, in the early 80s, you could be 14 and go to a nightclub really? and they would, like, you'd end up in the VIP room. I mean, yeah. I, I had, like, a side ponytail and sneakers and... And they did an article on you in the New York Times? When I was uh, 19. Yeah. About being a club kid? Yeah. And... <laughs> So, so you had a fake ID? No. no you didn't yeah. need a fake ID? No, no, they were just pervy. Girls, <laughs> girls, this is a very pervy world. I'm going to speak on behalf of, of women and young girls. Uh, you never get carded, ever, ever. I was bartending by the time right. I was 18. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's true. Was this yeah. the Studio 54 days? It was, well, when I was 14, it was still studio, but when I was, when I was out, it was more danceteria and area. You know, the thing is, it's like you say, what town are you from? Right. When you meet somebody who grew up in that time, you say, what clubs? What and clubs, you right. know exactly, you can place them exactly if they tell you what clubs they went to. And in 1986, you were voted the top celebutant? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Excuse me, what? That was, it was the, a combination of celebrity and debutante, of which I was not. Uh, but it was just a funny word that they coined in the New York Times. I, uh, I like it. I'm standing by <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it was a, it was a really interesting experience. I, you know, this is before reality television, so... I got very famous for no reason. I had nothing to back it up. It was just, I was extremely <laughs> excited to be out and about and around people who were much more interesting than I was. But then people needed you at their clubs, didn't they? Like, there was a whole, this was a thing. This right. was a real cultural moment in New York City. I, I know because I was reading about it. <laughs> I could not get into any of those. So yeah, you end up on the short list of yeah, who, was at some, who was at a party, right? Yeah, so uh, cool. Yeah, it was, it was a unique experience. It was also a really valuable experience because when you have have celebrity with nothing to back it up, you get the worst of celebrity experience, right? You you get stalkers, you get people telling lies about you, you get judged uh, for things you did or didn't do, um, and you lose control of your own reputation and, and your own presentation. And so for me, it was uh, a really uh, an amazing turning point in my life because I realized that celebrity was not a goal. Right. Um, if I wanted to be an actor, I, it was because I loved doing it. Work, yeah. And uh, I'm incredibly grateful for that experience, not for the celebrity that it gave me, but for the lessons that I learned because of it.